Now I'm going to talk about the process of submitting an assignment. This is going to use GitHub and it's going to rely on the fact that I forked the repo from the Rocket Academy account into my own account. And so GitHub knows that those two things are linked. And what we're going to do is create what's called a pull request. So a pull request is a thing that takes code commits that I did on my computer and that I've then gotten onto my copy of the repo in my account on GitHub and relates those back to the original repo on the Rocket Academy account. So let's see that in the GitHub website now. I'm back on the main page for my forked copy of the repo here. And so now I'm gonna create a pull request. GitHub is already giving me a helpful message here which says that I am one commit ahead of the original repo that I forked from. So all I need to do is click the pull request button and it's gonna help me create a pull request. So when I do that, it gives me this pull request uh, page. And if I scroll down, then it tells me what inside of my files has changed versus the original version of the GitHub repo inside the Rocket Academy account. So what I want to do next is click this green button that says create pull request. And I'm going to see this screen that says uh, is a big comment box where I can write things. And for the assignment, uh, we want everyone to fill this out um, for each question. And so I'm just going to fill out a couple of numbers here. After I've filled this out, I want to just create the click the green button. Now in the original Rocket Academy page for the repo, I can see my pull requests up here in this tab. So if I scroll down, then I can see the pull request. Pull requests are one of the main diagnostic tools we use to track student progress throughout the course. Please remember to use the Git Press practices when you're recording your commits so that each commit represents a single working version of the file, the smallest amount of changes you can make that still work uh, inside the project. Each of those commits should be accurately described inside of a very short commit message, about one sentence long. If you can record all of these things, it gives us a powerful tool to help you as you progress through the levels of the course.